Hey everyone, just going to run you through the training that I had this week. So I was squatting on Sunday this week instead of how I usually squat on Mondays. That's because I had a buddy of mine from Camp Pendleton wanted to come lift with me. And of course I had squatted on Friday doing front squats, so my legs were pretty shot still on Sunday. Still got a 395 double beltless high bar, and that's a PR. The 405 this coming Monday is going to feel pretty good, I think. Um... I wouldn't say that it's going to be easy, but it's definitely going to go well. So after that, we did our back offsets. Just trying to go up and down on these as fast as possible. This right here is 285. And the guy I was lifting with, he had never squatted in this manner before. So he was getting a serious leg pump. And, uh, you know, I think this is helping me out not only with my cardiovascular endurance, because it gets you pretty winded, but also with maintaining a tight core maintaining that midline stability. I paused there at the end just just for fun. So on Monday I had to travel to a new base where on Tuesday here I was uh, doing my slingshot bench. This is warming up for the slingshot. This is 305. Do it for a pause, raw, and uh, it was a strong pause. The bar speed was great and I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people have been saying that I, since I haven't been training the pause and been doing a lot of touch and go benching with this jacked and tan training these last couple of weeks, last eight weeks or so, that my pause is going to decline. I'm not going to be as strong on the pause, but everyone only has their own individual weaknesses. And so mine has always been the lockout strength. So I'm not training the pause that much. And as you can see, it's not really affected. Well, I ended up getting sick, uh, like Tuesday, Wednesday time frame. So this Wednesday right here, I was doing deadlifts. Still got 435 for two, which is uh, pretty good. The most I've ever done in that four was five, and it was belted off the floor, not blocks. So I'm not feeling 100% on this day. Um, feeling about maybe 90, 85, 90% on this day. Get these. These are deadlifts right here. I think this is 325 for eight or something like that. You can see I'm resting much longer between between the reps than what I usually do. And I think that just has a lot to do with feeling pretty crummy. I may have caught a stomach bug or something like that because in the last five days, four days, in the last four days, I've lost over five pounds. And so um, it's had a pretty serious effect on my my training. This little guy right here is like my best friend for upper back training. Lower back gets wore out. That chest supported unilateral row machine thing's my new BFF. It's amazing. So we get to Thursday. Still sick. The body weight continues to decline because I just can't keep any fluids in me. Got 180 for four on the military press um, and it felt about as good as it possibly could be. And um, did back offsets. And the back offsets definitely wore me out. I think with being sick, my tolerance for volume decreases significantly. And that might be across the board for everybody. Um, intensities, I could still get the ones, the twos, the three reps, but the, the speed isn't there like it would be, as demonstrated with that 435 deadlift. So we get to Friday, and it's by far the worst day that I was feeling this week. Uh, that was 285 for one on the front squat. I've done that for five reps before. Did my back off, my back off work here. And uh, honestly, the only reason why I was even able to go into the gym is because I drank like half a bottle of Imodium and uh, turned up the music real loud in my headphones and managed to get through just the bare minimum amount of work that I was feeling okay with doing that I would determine acceptable. If I hadn't gone to the gym, I just would have been like full of self-hate because uh, I know that I've trained in worse conditions before. So it's really not an excuse. It's just uh, one of those things you got bad days. You still need to train on bad days and make the best that you could do on your bad days. And then uh, here's today, which is Saturday. Work up to this 305 for four on the raw bench, which is a new PR. I think the most I've ever done it for was two. Um... But you saw on Tuesday I did that single pause. This fourth rep was a little slow, got got out of the groove a little bit. Um, but hey, for having lost over five pounds in the last four days, I feel pretty good with uh, the way that the bench press went today. It's my 
my rep work afterwards, I did something like 235, 245, 255 for eight. And as you can see, my bar speed seriously decreases on that last one. Being sick the last couple of days has kind of worn me out. And I uh, think I'm getting to feel a little bit better. Tomorrow's a rest day for me for training, so I'll try to get as much rest as I can. Hopefully my stomach starts to feel a little bit better. And uh, next week wraps up the eight, will be the eighth week of Jack to Tan. So I'll be hitting some rep PRs hopefully on some big weights for these jacked and tan movements. Thanks.